It's your boy and Gurun in the house back with another bang on video with ladies and gentlemen on freaking believable news because you know that this is the last video of January that means this is the last video of the transfer window it was really fun to actually cover the January transfer window because it was really great to get daily news for you guys for this month especially the new uh, linking the rumors I I also got certain comments wherein people were thinking that Oh my God! How dare I actually say them that that, that these kind of uh, uh, news, these kind of linkings, this kind of player linkings and uh, rumors would be true or not? To them, I really like to say that, guys. I really strive hard to get you, you know, these kind of news at one single stop video point where you can actually uh, check out every news that is actually available about Arsenal in one single video. And I come up daily. No, it's not easy for a YouTuber to actually come up daily with content. So without any further ado. And I'm not doing this just because I want uh, to, you know, uh, be much more famous about. But it it is a very big headache for any Arsenal fan to get everything at a single spot. I didn't get that, so I just want, uh, you know, uh, you guys to get that. And I really love to do this. That's why I'm doing this. So, and I'll keep coming back again and again with these kind of videos twice a day. So make sure you subscribe if you're an Arsenal fan. If you're not an Arsenal fan, you should definitely subscribe. But moving on, the first news that's actually uh, hitting us is. You know, Arteta has actually spoken about Cedric Soares. He said, he has big experience, knows what it means. I followed him a few seasons ago and I like what, he's, what he can bring. We will have more results today, but I don't think he'll be available for Sunday. But go without. Ladies and gentlemen, Pablo Murray, as you were informed in, uh, in my previous video, that he will wear number 22 uh, kit number four Arsenal this season and Cedric Soares will wear number 17 jersey previously worn by the likes of Edu, Alexis Sanchez and Alex Iwobi. Well, we all know that uh, John Flick actually responded to his linking up with Arsenal. Well, right now Sheffield United boss Chris Wilder has actually spoken up about the potential move of John Flick to Arsenal. He said, He's never been made available by us, not previously, not now. I want him to be a lifer at Bromall Lane. It's that simple. So it's 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 like it's it's a killer blow to any transfer news that is actually linking John Fleck with Arsenal. But moving on, Martin Keown has approved of Arsenal's new boy Cedric Soares. He says, I think he's a good player. He's been a bit unfortunate this season. I do feel he's a really good player. Of course, current holder with Portugal of the Euros. I still think he's got enough to offer for Arsenal. Well. Danny Mills has revealed who he thinks is better out of Mezzo Ozil and Christian Eriksen. He says, a lot of the time Eriksen's best stuff comes when the team is doing well and the players around him are playing well, a bit like Ozil. He cannot grab a game by the scruff of its neck on his own. He's not a physical presence, but he's a technically a good player who could bang in a good free kick. I think he has that brilliantly at times for Spurs. Football is about opinion. Mine isn't right and yours isn't right. We all got our own. Well, moving on. Unai Emery has accused all the Arsenal fans of throwing him out of the club and says his successor, Mikel Arteta, is benefiting from an improved atmosphere at the Emirates. That's a quite a scathing attack. Here's what he said. He said, I'm clear about my diagnosis and we did good things there. I think we had a fir good first year, taking two competitions well as Europa League and Premier League. The process was good. When we played possession, we did it. When we had to press, we did it. And we were competitive playing as the game required. With moments of possession game and moments of three quick touches, this second year we have not played well, we have not defended well, have not been competitive, did not transmit and I told the players this myself. There were several problems, four captains, the Ozil Kolasna case, Pepe is signing who needs time since he has come from France, we didn't play well, that's for sure. That brought us bad results, there was no improvement, the fans focused on me and they threw me out. But I keep focusing on but I keep focusing on the positive things. There were many. On Arteta, Emery said that Mikel has a lot of experience as a footballer and has worked alongside Pep Guardiola, who is a top coach. He's playing a 4-2-3-1 like ours. Ozil is number 10 and is slowly looking for his identity. But with my departure, the hostile atmosphere was relaxed. The results are not being the best, but you have to give it time to do so. Well, Arsenal actually, uh, you know, posted that uh, signed seed delivered Cedric Suarez is a Ghana, Guna, I'm sorry. So, uh, uh, to which Premier League official actually uh, spoke about, uh, you know, commented, thoughts, Arsenal fans, 
To which Ian Wright replied, welcome Cedric Soares. Ian Wright is loving Cedric Soares to us. No, he's a fan, definitely. And he loves whatever he club, his club does. Uh, very, very much vocal. He's one of one of one like us who actually is very much vocal about his opinions. So these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the views, news, and everything about Arsenal comes on this platform every single day, twice. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon. When you do that, you get two videos about Arsenal every single day. Well, I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers.